Good evening. This is Miss Poopity Doodle's most. <clears throat> Good evening. This is Miss Poopy Doody Wolf's most intolerant reporter reporting for channel 666 Eyewitness News. Um, on today's episode, we're going to continue the discussion of religion and God and ways to worship. You see, um, we were talking about this issue, as you know, this show is about issues. Um, yeah, so we were talking about this issue of religion about two weeks ago, and um, you know, I was telling you ways to worship. Now, many viewers of the show began to have a lot of questions about worshipping God. For instance, what do you do if you can't take God with you? You know, like, say you want to take God, you want to talk to God and you're on the subway. Like, is, is it really practical to take God on the subway because, you know, you feel like talking with God and, you know, you go on the subway? I suppose it's not practical and sometimes God doesn't really want to go on the subway. And is it really make sense, for instance, if you're going to go for a walk, you know? Or if you were going to go to your friend's house, who may have like 10, you know, Dobermans and... You know, sometimes it's not a good idea to take God with you, even though you really want to talk to God at the time, you know? So, I, I suppose, you know, what a lot of viewers wanted to know is, how do you, you know, how do you worship God when God is not physically there? Now I know most of you should already know that God doesn't always have to be physically there for you to worship. I mean, look, you saw what God looks like. You, you can see God. We know what God looks like. And that's the whole idea of God, is that God is everywhere. But I understand not everybody may have God in their house. So it may be a little bit difficult to worship. It, it may You may not feel so well motivated, you know? So, um, in times like this, the best solution is to create, well, an image of God. And, um, hold on, let me show you what I'm talking about. As you know, uh, this show has many visual demonstrations. This, for instance, is, uh, uh, you know, uh, pretty much the image of God. As you can see, God looks quite um, good. Doesn't God look good? And, and if you actually place you know, the image of God next to God, you would notice how similar the image looks compared to the real God. So, the whole, I mean, the whole objective here is just telling you that um, you could take the image of God, for instance, you know, with you. You could travel with it. So, you know, you can go on the subway, and if you suddenly, you know, you feel really scared because, you know, suddenly the train is, you know, making all local stops in Brooklyn in the middle of the night, and suddenly somebody with gold teeth gets in with a huge hammer and starts pounding on the seat, and you think you're safe because you're on the other side, but no, the person keeps pounding on the seat with a hammer, you know, and it's like one o'clock in the night, and, you know, you're, you're on the other end of the carriage, and... You know, you can't, you can't open the door and cross over to the other carriage because it's locked and then the train is kind of like stalled. Take out your God in a moment of distress like that and say, Oh God, please, please don't let that gold tooth man with the hammer pounding in the seat come over to me and pound my head. Oh please God, don't let him do that. Please God, don't. And... You know, sometimes it would feel more powerful, it, it would feel good, and you know what? You're, you're not going to get killed! So, you, you see how good that feels? So, for instance, if you, you, if you were not carrying God with you, and, you know, the criminal with the gold tooth and the hammer in his hand pounding on the churn, you don't have God with you. you. You may be like, oh, I wish I had God with me, and then you're going to panic. And you're not going to ask God to, you know, protect you from the danger that is currently lurking, you know, in the subway system, even though you're hoping, you know, you could pay your, you know, you pay your ride, and you're hoping that, you know, you get home safe. And also you can't help but wonder, why is it that only the, the one day you decide to jump the turnstile, you get stopped by a cop, and you have to pay a ticket, while, like, where is the cop now, when the person with the gold took is hammering on the seat? Hey, where is the cop now? Why was he there when you decided to jump the turnstile? Because really, you jumped the turnstile protesting the fact
fact that the fare is rising all the time, and no one cares. Everyone keeps paying it. It's a dollar, a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy-five, two dollars, two twenty-five, and you know that's okay. You have to pay the fare so the cop stops you. The cop stops you. But hey, where is the cop now? You know. But um, all those thoughts may be running through your head, and then you kind of take God out of your bag. Because you know what? God's gonna help you. The cop's not gonna help you. God is going to help you. And you just, you just pray to God. And you say, God, help me. Please help me. So, um, it works, people. So, um, just remember that. If any of you, you know, out there, walking around, you know, in the night, without being careful, you know, or walking around somewhere, you know, thinking you're safe, you're not. That's why you need God. So, uh, once again, this is Miss Pooky Duty World's Most Determined Reporter, reporting for channel 66 IRPS News. Of course, if you have any questions about how to worship God or any other dilemmas you, the viewer, might be having, please let Miss Divine know and I will, you know, do a report on this. And if you would like to uh, donate to this ministry, you know, donations are always welcome. Donations are only going to be used to finance the show, nothing else. So, you know, just the show. But it's coming to you anyway, with or without the donations. So uh, stay tuned, folks. Uh, we'll continue by um, talking about physics and the laws of uh, quantum mechanics.